Hello friends, this is Ashirwad here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And in this video, I will be explaining you how to install MySQL on your computer. So to download MySQL, go to the web browser and open mysql.com. Go to the download section. And uh, from here, scroll down and select this option click on this link community downloads okay so click on community downloads and click on the very first link mysql community server on this screen you are given uh, four download options as you can see the download size is exceeding 300 mb okay well this is for the latest version of mysql it gives us not only the mysql command line uh, client but it gives us some additional tools also which we don't uh, want uh, in the beginning okay we want a simple clean installation uh, of mysql so to to install it scroll up and click on this link mysql community server 5.5 okay now when you scroll down and check the download size is around about 40 MB fine so this is the one we want now again if your computer has a 32 bit architecture you have to download this one or if your computer has 64 bit architecture you can download this one and uh, to check uh, what architecture your computer has you can go to your my computer settings uh, properties and from there you can check it so my computer has a 64 bit architecture so i will be selecting the second download option msi installer is what we want and click download okay on this page the site will ask you to either log in or sign up we we want none of these you simply click no thanks just start my download so when you click on this link your download will start automatically right so i have already downloaded it so i am not going to click on the link let me close this window and this is the file i have downloaded okay now i'm going to install it so double click on this this window appears click next accept the license agreement next three installation types typical custom and complete i will recommend you click on complete and then click install say yes if any message is displayed click next next so mysql has been installed but it is not configured so on this screen make sure you have selected this option i uh, launch the mysql instance configuration wizard okay finish say yes if any message is displayed and uh, Observe the steps carefully. Click next. Detailed configuration next. Developer machine next. Multifunctional database next. Don't make any changes here next. Let it be default. Decision support selected 15 next. Don't make any changes here. And make sure the port number displayed here is 3306 okay I will explain in my upcoming videos what is the role of this port number and wh why it is important okay so for now just leave it 3306 just make sure it is displayed uh, this number only next don't make any changes next Install as Windows service fine mysql okay launch the server automatically fine next Now on the screen you have to give it a password you can give any password For now I am giving it as R O O T that is root in small letters Repeat R O O T root in small letters don't make any other change next and finally click execute on this screen observe carefully that all these four uh, steps are checked okay because if any one of these is not checked uh, or fails that 
will directly mean that MySQL is not properly installed or will simply not work. So as you can see, it has checked three or four. Okay. Now click finish and that's it. We have installed MySQL. To check it, go to your all programs list. There you will find MySQL option and you have a command line client. So click on this link. It opens up and asking a password. So give it the same password you had given at the time of installation. Press enter and that's it. The MySQL prompt appears. So this is the indication that our database, MySQL database is running perfectly well. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you found this uh, was useful, then please subscribe my channel and give it a like. Thank you.